Welcome back to Britain's Rare Guitars and this week we're looking at all things country. And I get to play these beautifully designed electroacoustic basses from Gillett Guitars. Whilst I get to try out this awesome 1964 Telecaster from Barry Gaskell with a very special story. But to get things started we have British Country Music Award winners Backwards Creek. Yeah so the Creek Boys last year had two top five singles with Keep Off The Grass and When I Grow Up. So can we please welcome Backwards Creek. You probably at home just wondering how I'm doing. Girl, you know I'm doing just fine. It's only been a week, but I'm back on my feet. I ain't the time, wasting the time. In fact, I met a new girl just the other day. I'm going to treat her like a real man. She'll get her flowers and chocolates without any reason. But she'll be living real good. Well, it could have been you, but it was on. Welcome back to Britain's Rare Guitars. Congratulations guys, BCMA Music Video of the Year for When I Grow Up. So tell me, what inspired the song and the video? Um, I think the, the song was mainly inspired by uh, just all our kind of dreams and hopes when we were kids. Uh, so some of us wanted to uh, own a roller coaster, some of us wanted to ride a dinosaur. Uh, I wanted to be a basketball playing pirate. Uh, so we thought we'd uh, put all that in a song and try and make it a really nice vibe, a really nice universal feeling with it. Uh, and then we combine that with the uh, the video. We actually sent uh, the lyric and the song over to the guys over at LR Animations, and uh, they came back with some great visuals. Um, and we kind of mixed that. We uh, while we were doing that bit, my uh, my best friend unfortunately passed away. Um, so we kind of saw it fitting really uh, to combine that with that and make it a a, a tribute. I think it's turned out pretty cool. We're we're pretty proud of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a great song and great video, um, and it's gotten you a lot of attention. Obviously, you won the award, you attended the award ceremony. Yeah, yeah, um, we weren't we weren't sure that, that was going to happen at all. We knew we enjoyed it, we knew what it meant to us. We knew when um, we really loved the video and the style that, um, that uh, we ended up with. When we attended the awards, we had no idea about the reaction that we were going to have. Everybody that was there, everybody that's listened to it at home, they've all kind of taken it in their own way. They've kind of made it their own. For them, you know, it's it's really cool to see that that it's not it's not just ours anymore. Everybody's kind of taking it, taking it for themselves in a really good way. And once again at the awards, we had it playing as we were as we were playing, and uh, it's just a great vibe. And we we were just really really pleased. Yeah. So what have you guys got planned next? 
Uh, we've got a summer full of festivals. Uh, we're trying to tour all up and down the country and just get kind of as far as we can. I think we're doing Glasgow, we're doing Dorset and anywhere in between basically. Uh, and then on top of that, we're going to release some new music. Uh, we've got a new single coming out uh, called Could Have Been You. It's a nice little, uh, a different take on a love story, if you will. Okay, and, and where can people find that when it does come out? Uh, the best place is always our website, which is uh, www.backwardscreek.co.uk. Uh, and then we're on all the standard socials, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything forward slash Backwards Creek. Welcome back to Britain's Rag Guitars. I'm here again with Barry Gaskell, and I'm really excited about this next guitar because I'm a massive country nerd. Country boy. That's it, yeah, <laughs> anything by Mel Haggard, Albert Lee, and of course, Chet Atkins. Yep, this is uh, Gretsch Chet Atkins, Tennessee, uh, 1967. This is really pretty guitar. It's a lovely thing. Uh, typical of Gretsch, the unusual features that they have. It's, a, it's got a standby switch on it. Okay. A three-way switch, the middle's off, okay. up and down's on. It just a, and it's the same either side, the arm. Yeah, either, yeah, either way, yeah. Thank you. Have a hold. This is exciting. <laughs> so we've got, this is... Two volumes. Volume per pickup and then yeah, and a master, master volume, volume here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are the Hylotron pickups. Hylotron pickups, pickups yep. on it, yeah. And then, so pick Les Paul switching pick configuration. Up, yeah. Yeah. yeah, And then... Yeah, they're tonal switches. Okay. Various tones you can click on. So it's similar to the burns again. Very similar to the burns, yeah, yeah. yeah. So a lot of tones in conjunction with the. Yeah, you can get massive good, volume. good sounds out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So playing wise, this plays really easy. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's really I nice. Tell play. You like it. I really <laughs> like this. Um, and I've actually just clocked that these f holes aren't real f holes. No, are they? the painted the painted f holes. Maybe it was just a fashion, I don't know, but it does help a bit with uh, feedback. It does okay. stop a bit yeah. of feedback, you know, so it's a nature of the beast, you know. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. And we've got, so there's an original, original Bigsby, Bigsby on it. Yeah. yeah. Original Bigsby tremolo. I can't wait to get this plugged in. Well, come on, George, play me something. Let's give it a go. Welcome back to Britain's Rare Guitars. I'm here with Mike Gillett of Gillett Guitars. We met Mike at the Bristol Guitar Show and we were really interested by his uh, basses and guitars that he had there. He's brought his uh, contour electroacoustic bass. And could you, Mike, can you tell us about uh, the woods you use and yeah, sure. just everything about your bass? Yeah, so it's got a maple neck, just like any other, like the basses you play, uh, which lead into a solid shoulder, which is um, a maple and walnut shoulder. And then body surfaces are mostly rosewood with a sitka top. And these other bits, um, the ergonomic bits, are, made, are American walnut, okay? We've also got electronics here. So it is an electroacoustic, as we were saying earlier. Yeah. So it's got a mag pickup here made by Bare Knuckle from Falmouth, Yahoo, English stuff. Yeah. And a transducer. And the two things are mixable so that you can make this sound like a double bass. Cool. So this is a guitar-sized double bass. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the strings go through the body to the back, so you've got um, long, long, long strings, which means Obviously extra sustain, Great. but you've got a short scale. So it's Big sound, small it. package. Big sound, small package. Nice. Yep. Brilliant. So uh, in a previous life, uh, yeah. I heard you're an aerospace engineer. So how different is yeah. it working with now wood rather than metal? Well, I mean, I, I joined the Navy when I was 16 and did an artificial apprenticeship, um, which gave me a great background in engineering and structures and physics and things like that. And I've, but I've always been a musician since I was 14, so combining my sort of engineering knowledge with being a bass player eventually, I sort of came up with a, a way of making this possible. So if you look at the inside structure of this, it's got A-frames, a um, bit like a biplane fuselage, right, yeah. which separate the two halves from each other, and, and it makes a very strong structure. Very which, cool. which means that we can have all these lovely, lovely, lovely um, things which make it comfortable to play. Yeah, so um, yeah. let's talk about the, the shape of it and maybe also yeah. of this one. Sure. 
Um, so this one is... So it's exactly the same idea. Um, you know, again, you've got you know, lots of this time lovely rosewood instead of a Sitka top. Um, and it's very slim line, as you can see, it's extremely comfortable to play. Yeah. Um, same idea with electronics, so we've got a mag pickup and a transducer with a separate volume control here. Very, very comfortable to play. We've sold quite a lot of these, you know, they're very popular. Yeah, yeah. so um, yeah. what was your motivation behind this? I heard that you were a teacher and yeah. you're trying to get uh, young people yeah. playing bass. Well, well, that's, they, they could reach to well the if, end you, of the base. if you take kids of eight or nine trying to trying to learn how to play a thirty four inch long scale bass, that's yeah. where it all started for me. Yeah. About well, about twenty years ago, really, and um, I gradually evolved an idea for making a short scale bass which kids could play. But then I wanted to maintain sort of longer strings, which is where the box idea came in. Yeah. So we've patented this idea in UK and America. So as you can see, this is a slimline bass, so it's called the S type and you've got the contours in here that allowed you to hold the bass closer to your body and get better access to the frets over here. And this is just a really unique approach to building a bass, so thank you very much for bringing it in, Mike. And uh, the last thing to do is to plug it in and see how it sounds.